Now let's work on another technique. We're going to work on snapping twig. In this case, the person reaches out to grab your shoulder in preparation for a punch. What we're going to do is step back and strike here, right? This works really well. Let's switch arms and um, we'll do that. So, we're stepping in here. Now, in snapping twig, we pull a person in, strike to the side of the neck, come in here with a raking fist and elbow. This is great. How can you change it? Let's say, for instance, what we don't want to do is pound this guy into the ground. We want to restrain him. So, he makes the grab, okay? I strike. <clears throat> here, lift him up. Now, I'm going to continue the motion here, rolling the shoulder up and bringing him around here. As I do this, I'm going to step in and bring him up here. Now, this is a very difficult situation to get out of, especially if I take this hand and start pointing it out this way. It creates a tremendous amount of pressure and strain on the shoulder and tricep area as well as the elbows. While I pick up the nose, <laughs> and I'm going to use one of these fingers to put under his nose and lift hard. As he tries to turn one way or the other, I adjust my grip on his head to compensate. So once he's up here, when he tries to turn one way, I pull his head around. When he tries to turn the other way, I push his head around. This keeps him stable. You can actually put your, put your foot right in between his, lock his foot in with a lock step. And this is simply sticking your foot in and turning your foot so that the toes lock his foot into position. This is a good way of temporarily and partially stabilizing so that he's less able to react and respond and move. When you do this, you can see that snapping twig is just a prelude to a number of different techniques. Again, I do snapping twig, all right? I, I'm here, okay, this is great, but I see this punch coming. This hasn't really done much, so instead, I'm following through, pushing the arm aside, I'm coming in, hammer fist here, palm heel here, and I'm coming straight up, and I'm locking the hand in. Now I'm going to step across in front of his leg, and I'm just going to bury his head in the ground. All I have to do is pull down here, and over he goes. It's that easy. It takes very little effort and pressure. With a little bit of momentum, you can send him flying. It's a very simple thing to do. So, these are variations on two techniques that are relatively easy to do, but it just takes a little imagination and practice. The thing about any technique is that it must be practiced to the point of complete competency. If you're at the point where you don't have to think about it anymore, but you can do it perfectly every time, you succeeded. Now, in Sidewinder, you have a, a lot more variations than one would think. In the initial move, we have one, two, okay? Let's turn this around a little bit, and let's make this a little bit more, over here, a little bit more Wing Chun. We're going through the center instead of going to the outside. So when he punches, I punch here, and we're setting right up immediately here to come in with an uppercut. We can go anywhere we want. We can go here to the head. We can go to the floating ribs. We can go anywhere. It doesn't really matter. What matters is to open this person up. So when I do the technique of parrying here and stepping in, there's my circle. Here is an S motion. They're still circles. They're smaller circles. They're reverse direction, but they're still circles. The concept and the heart of the technique is still there. The ergonomics have changed a little bit. You have a slightly different target. Instead of the side of the head, you're coming straight up through the middle. Think about these uh, conditions and these alternatives as you do a technique. Use your imagination because what makes transition action work is your ability to imagine different outcomes and different scenarios using the same technique. You may have a different beginning, you may have a different end, but the technique can work in a variety of cases all of which can look at first glance to be completely different.